Hey everybody, Notorious here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is going to be all about my latest creation, origination, and discovery, a new loop knot called the Alpha Loop Knot. Here's the knot. And first of all, disclaimer, this is a brand new knot that I came up with a few months ago, and I'm just coming around, or rather getting around to discussing it. And so do not use this for life support. I am 50-50 on whether or not this is a life supporting knot. I'd like to believe it is, but I do not have any capacity or ability to test that theory. So until then, let's use this strictly as a utility knot. If the day comes around where I am able to report to you that this is a, without a doubt, life supporting loop knot, then I will update you all and make you aware of that as soon as possible. But for now, this is a utility knot and a very strong one at that. I did test it with a lot of mechanical advantage um, I used a 12 to 1 mechanical advantage system and it did not slip at all. And let's take a look at it. Just like any loop knot, it's got a loop. Specifically, it has a fixed loop. So that means the loop is not adjustable in size unless you um, pull slack through the entire knot. And that's great for a lot of different purposes. Sometimes you want a cinching knot, sometimes you want one that is fixed. And it has this really neat and tidy parallel strand structure here where the left side of the loop, um, or what becomes the left side of the loop and the tail are nice and parallel. And then we have this collar here which is grabbing the working end uh, and the left side of the loop. And then in the back, it gets a little crazy, sort of. I mean, it looks still pretty neat. And we have a really nice looking, I don't even know what to call it. It's just, I think it's really clever. In order to tie the alpha loop knot, Create an overhand. Then take your index finger and place it above the standing end and below these two strands here. Next, take your working end and pass it through the opening where your index finger sticks out and then between these two strands here. All right, now you can create your loop and size it however you want it to be. Finally, take your working end and bring it behind the standing end and then above this strand here that goes out to the right side of the loop and below this loop here. All right. Now dress and set. See how I did that by not only pulling on the standing end and the working end, but also pulling on the standing end and both sides of the loop. Not only is that important for this knot in order to be dressed and set correctly, but it's important for most loop knots, especially bowling. And take a look at it. It is awesome. It is easy to tie, I think. Maybe a little confusing because it's pretty unique. Um, I can think of a few knots that have a similar tying method, obviously not the exact tying method, but similar sort of 
you know, all around back and forth sort of confusion. Um, but if you practice, you will perfect it, you will learn it, and you will hopefully use it. If you like this video, if you like this not, please give this video a like. Also, please consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. I make shorts and I make long form videos. So be sure to check out both and check out my channel for more hitch how-tos, not tutorials and climbing videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.